Can you smell what the rock is? This actually, this doesn't work for this. No, I don't think this works. Hang on, just got to get more into, you know, the uh, kind of more in this sort of mood. Yeah, you smell la, 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 what the rock is. A Dorito. Ooh, that's a hot mug, guy. Hey, guys, this is my review for Hobbs and Shaw. This movie is so many bananas. I originally actually had the opening of me holding up a bunch of bananas to say just how bananas this movie was, but that was about a quarter of the way through the movie. But then I got to here and I was like, this is exactly the type of mentality that this movie is made for. The writer is Chris Morgan, who has been writing for the Fast and the Furious franchise, I believe, since maybe the third one? I really think his name is Kyle. His first name is Kyle, his last name is Kyle, and his middle name is Kyle, because this movie is made for a Kyle. The Fast and the Furious franchise has obviously gone into a situation that is absolutely absurd, absolutely banana monkey crazy. I think everyone on this team just thought, you know what, just do the stupidest fucking thing you guys can do and people will eat it up and I watched it and I went through a multitude of emotions absolute joy hilarity groaning agony embarrassment and pure buffoonery of befoulment if you would I can't believe what they did with this movie I can't believe how this film went through half of the shoots it did without someone saying, all right guys, you might be overdoing it. And yet, I still think I will not watch this movie again. In fact, I actually have not seen the last, I haven't seen eight, I haven't seen seven, I haven't seen six, since I only ever watched them once in the movie theaters, and I never saw them again, not on TV, not on a plane, not even on Netflix or anything, just had no care to. That's all I could take. I think that they are at a point now where these movies come out, I'm like, okay, I watched that. I can say I watched it. Did I enjoy myself? Possibly. I could never watch it again. I feel that is exactly the same thing with this movie. Is it entertaining for rock fans? Yeah, sure. Is it entertaining for stereotype Jason Statham movies? Yeah. Is the banter funny between these two? Of course it is. For the first bit, and then it gets too much. And then it just gets ridiculous. And that's the movie, basically. You can see that this movie is just trying to up Kyle itself all the time. Like for instance, The Rock, as he's walking through a bar, he takes two shot glasses, he slams them back, and then just tosses them over his shoulder. What a douchebag! And that's how they start the movie. In the end, I think that Hobbs and Shaw is a film that you should watch just to be absolutely astonished that The Rock jumps out of a building 600 feet up in the air, continuously falls, and is stopped by a shard of a plane of glass and a car, and he just walks it off. Fuck me, I was dying after that. I was laughing so hard that my brother told me to shut up at one point. This movie is three Kyles out of seven. I'll admit though, there is a cameo by one person in this film, and it's actually the one time I've ever found him funny. I have not found him funny in anything. I think he's just too much, except for Scary Movie 3. Oh crap, I gave it away. I hope you guys enjoyed this review. If you did, leave a like, and if you're interested, maybe subscribe. And I hope to see you guys soon. Thanks for watching the video. It's been a while, but I'm happy to say the click is finally getting back together in an all new movie, thanks to a successful Kickstarter campaign. But we are still asking for your support. You know, Nitz, you can't get more money unless you offer questionable favors. Yeah, guy. Unless, of course, those favors involve the ladies, guy. By support, I mean getting the word out, guys. Oh, well, couldn't you find a better means than this guy? All he seems to talk about is supernatural or hold a coffee mug real awkward. Why didn't you ask a Kardashian or something? Yeah, guy. Get in with the ladies, guy. Hey, he's trying to help out. Like you've been trying with Kimmy Burton? I've seen Jabba the Hutt finish a marathon faster. Yeah, guy. You're a massive slug thing, guy. <sighs> to see any and all updates about the upcoming Undergrads movie, be sure to check out and like the Bring Back Undergrads Facebook page. And with any luck, 
We'll see you guys soon.